Hi there, Robin here from Expert Island, and Marine Week carries on with a clarion amplifier. Now, this is a specific amplifier. This is for your subwoofer. So, you're going to buy this because it's got a single output to it, and it's going to run one speaker, and that speaker is going to be your sub. So, we're going to open this up, but we're first going to review a couple of little features on the top side, like one, the model. This is what we're talking about. It's the XC1120. So, the XC1120, it's a, a micro size, so compact we'll see that in a second mono class d power amp so class d is one of the harder amps to do but you can generate a lot of energy from it and usually you find class d's in the more expensive better products uh, you've got 500 watts of maximum music power so there you go 350 watts times one into two ohms and 210 watts times one at four ohms Again, they cover talk a lot about the discrete amplifier and all that good stuff. We're gonna open it up. We're gonna get a manual to show us how to install it and set it up. Nice black foam. And there you go. That's what you're paying for right there. So and there's even a wire at the bottom of the box. So that is I'm gonna take it if you don't have RCAs. So let's take a look at the amp. Nice, cut into here. So, nice packaging, straightforward, it keeps everything from getting all scratched up. All right. So, again, on the back side, we've got a clearing sticker, we've got a serial number, make sure it's all genuine that way. Uh, it looks like it's all brushed aluminum, very sealed up. We've got rubber boots on the ends where the wires are going to come out not completely sealed because we've got some remote connectivity here which is by a network cable we've got some more function input so we can go high level input using these cables here for our two channel input on it and then we've got a low pass from 250 to 90 to 60 so you can select that with a switch that's right on the back side of it here and we've got a gain control which we're going to need a little flat screwdriver for and then we've got a base EQ, so 0 or 12 dB increase on that. That's all right there. And then at the same time, we've got a toggle switch. Do we want to use our preamp input, or do we want to use our high-level inputs right here? There you go. So RCA plugs on this side. This is the power end, so the power coming in, the power coming out, all the big, the big stuff's all going to happen on this end here. So behind this cap here is our fuse, which is why this is our big red positive wire and then we've got a big power wire here for the ground the little blue wire that's our remote so on our radio our head units we're going to see our blue wire that's our remote cable so that's the power side now on the other half there's two more wires coming out this is what i mean so here they're being very specific they say positive on the subwoofer and negative on the subwoofer they actually put a tag to say that so that's all right there so it's not a lot more to show off on this guy, except, you know, it looks really nice. It's compact, which is really what you're paying for here. You're paying for a lot of power in a small package. And it's Clarion, so, you know, you can feel pretty reliable about the name. So, if you're into the brand, they do a really good job here. Now, something very important is this. Because this is great all on its own, but if you don't have a big enough power cable coming off your battery... If you don't have RCA cables, all the cables you need to hook it up. So remember, when you're buying an amplifier, check to see what's already on the boat. If you're replacing one, make sure it's big enough and can handle everything. Uh, instead of trying to figure out all the little pieces, the bids and bobs that need to hook everything up, when you buy a kit, you tend to get better value when it comes to the price. Uh, and you tend to get all the hardware and stuff that you wouldn't even think you needed, all these clips and spades and all that kind of stuff. It's all included in there, and different kits have different extras in it. But that's a good way to go because you do need to protect... In case something happens with the power line from the battery to the amp, you need to protect the battery and the rest of the boat, and they give you an inline fuse for that. Anyways, enough of that. But Clarion gives good warranty. Uh, make sure you're buying it from, depends on the service center or the dealer. Just make sure they're authorized. Uh, it's very popular, so what we'll do for you is we're going to put all the details of this down below so we can take another look at it and see that everything I said pretty much lines up with what's in the manual. 
and we'll also add links for you. So this way, if you're in Canada, you can always come to Expert Island, but in the States, we're going to have the links getting you to Amazon.com, so this way you can check out the price. And they're really affordable, actually. Amazingly enough, for something that's, you know, from Clarion and designed to run a subwoofer, it's got a really good price point on it. Anyways, it's been Robin from Expert Island, and if you got questions or comments, leave them down below. Don't forget to subscribe and leave us a thumbs up if you like the video. Talk to you soon. Thanks.